Hello and welcome to Street Smart Investing. My name is Albert and I'm your host for this uh, video. Um, I'm going to talk about, I know I'm, I was supposed to do uh, advanced medical uh, equipment, but that's going to be in later videos. I just want to jump in in some coronavirus, coronavirus stocks. Um, this is going to be the first video out of three. And the reason I say the first video out of three is because... Um, these coronavirus stocks are hitting us hard and I thought it'd be a good idea to do this. So the first set of these stocks actually has to do with antiviral stocks. Uh, antiviral is basically, uh, from my uh, ex learning experience, is basically, it's uh, not a vaccine, but it's basically to boost your immune system and to become uh immunity to have a more immunity uh against the coronavirus uh the second type of um anti virus mechanism is basically uh the vaccine and then the third is the therapy uh which is uh, indirect therapy um the other companies will be listed as follows in the next video so i will jump into that in the next ones so let's begin if you watch my previous videos you know what ws stands for which is watch list and let's begin with the first company gilead uh for gilead they have released remdesivir remdesivir i hope i said it right uh this is immunity boosting antiviral it basically boosts your immune system so you can be immune to it um countries such it has been released to countries such as china japan and india and maybe along a few others uh these are being donated and they're trying to help around the world so it looks like the u.s is doing pretty good at uh building these um medicines or vaccines and you know basically uh in the healthcare industry and in the biotech industry trying to combat the antivirus so we're doing a good job with that so let's begin uh gilead these are prices from last week today is saturday may 18th so roughly around sunday may 11th these are the uh reviews this is the um analyzation for this so the price for this last week was about 77 dollars and 49 cents market cap is 97 billion earnings per share is 3.89 pe is 20 dividend is two dollars and 72 cents dividend yield percentage is 3.5 percent the trend for the one year uh maybe till the end of the year it looks strongly upwards as you can see i did, did a big curve uh, cash flow is negative six, but I'm sure with the donations and everything that they're doing to combat the antivirus, uh, they're doing pretty good. So I'm sure they'll get that back based on government, uh, bonds and, and, uh, whatnot and funding and maybe grants. The debt is 63%. These are the analyst reviews, the analyst ratings. So this is the data that I got, which was 33% uh, buy, 53% hold, and 13% sell. Um, I'm not recommending this. This is just information that I'm presenting to you. So whatever decision you make, again, this is a disclaimer. Any decision you make is basically so solely based on your decision whether you win or lose in the stock market um i'm just trying to provide information uh so people need to do their due diligence before they actually make uh an accurate decision on what to do what to buy and um how long they want to hold it for and whatnot so i'm not solely responsible for your decision in the stock market uh seek a professional who's licensed so next up on the watch list that i've come up with for for me uh i have tiva pharmaceuticals 
And they've also been working with uh, GlaxoSmithKline for a vaccine. No, sorry. This company has been working with um, GlaxoSmithKline for a vaccine. So um, Tiva Pharmaceuticals is another antiviral. So the price is $11.29. Market cap is at $12.37 billion. Earnings per share is at negative 0.91. Profit earnings are negative 11.74. Dividend is nothing. Yield has zero. The one-year trend, it looked kind of sideways, as you can see. And then uh, it's slightly going upwards. So maybe by the end of the year, it'll go a little bit higher. Um, cash flow is $300 million. The reason that's one, that's pretty much the main reason why I, I like it on a watch list for me. Uh, the debt is kind of high at seventy three percent, but I'm sure they'll get again funding just like Gilead uh, from the government. They'll probably get grants and donations from the government and probably sell bonds from the government um, or to the government as well. So the analyst ratings I have that I find out are. 21% buy, make this a little closer, 21% buy, 62% hold, and a 17% sell. Uh, so next up is Sanofi, or San Sanofi. They are working with GlaxoSmithKline for a vaccine as well, and they're doing an antiviral. So that's double damage, which is pretty good. They're, they're doing basically two kinds of antivirus um competitions to fight the virus so prices are $48.08 market cap is $120 billion earnings per share is at 1.51 the PE ratio is at 32 the dividend is 1.75 the dividend yield percentage is 3.62 percentage the one year trend that I have, it looks a little sideways and it drops. Then it goes, this was the uh, March drop, uh, the ending of March 23rd. Uh, and then it kind of goes back up and it looks sideways for the one year trend. The cash flow is at 2.8 billion. The debt is at 47.56%. And the analyst ratings are at 80% buy. 20% hold and a 0% sell. Again, these um, ratings are from Sunday, May 11th. Hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next one.